After a long, arduous journey involving a 12-hour train ride, a 4-hour bus ride, and a 2-hour hike, the journalists covering the shutdown of the Punggyeri nuclear test site are expected to have arrived at the nuclear test site this afternoon. So far, we've not gotten any updates from the foreign reporters or even from the North state-run media on the dismantling of the site. Let's go straight to our EG1 for the details we have so far. G1, what do you have for us? Daniel, it's already been a whole day since the reporters left Wonsan last night. So considering how the trip was expected to take about 18 hours, we're guessing that the reporters arrived at the site early in the afternoon and that the dismantling may have already taken place. But there is no clear way for us to know this as the reporters have no access to the internet or any connection to the outside world. Now there has been wide speculation that the North may want to make the announcement first before any other media, in which case it be the regime state-run Korea Central News Agency or the Korean Central Television breaking the news. But seeing how there, uh, seeing how there have been no uh, such reports from the regime's media, we're all just waiting at the moment. And because the reporters are not connected to the internet, it's expected that they won't be able to send any detailed stories or footage until they get back to their press center in Wonsan, which means a trip back of another 17 hours or so. Now, meanwhile, South Korea's foreign ministry said earlier in the afternoon that it's keeping a close eye on whether there are any changes in the area and is awaiting possible notifications from North Korea.